the parity group started in 2014 out of dissatisfaction with the current system. It's a fluid group of students, teaching staff and research assistants and professors that come together to discuss diversity, parity and somehow institutional change that didn't have space in the curriculum yet. In 2016, it was the first time they did the parity talks. It started to be this annual moment of discussion where topics were brought up that were not talked about before. The work that has been achieved from 2014 to today, uh, I mean, I think it's really impressive to see how that has emerged into like a full-fledged activism at the level of the school, which has rippled across the discipline also, I think, when people graduate, how does that impact potentially the profession? The change of the status of the school, that was a big moment because in a way it was about managing to change the institution from the inside. Entering the party group and still being in the party group it does take um, an effort, and I think it should take an effort for everyone to act. Good afternoon, everybody. It's wonderful to see such a big group of people here today to join us for the eight parity talks. It is with great excitement. I would like to see it also more becoming embedded into what we actually do at architecture school. So it's not something extra, but something that is really part of it. The group is so big. And there also emerged other student-led initiatives and Parity Group became kind of this platform that facilitates things but is not the only organization pushing for these kind of things. First be confronted with who I am and what I look like. And this is a problem, so that's why a lot of people also don't feel confident enough to enter white spaces. Yeah. But the Parity Group is not only bringing in lovely workshops that are something beyond architecture, but it's really touching upon how we understand architecture. Mm -hmm. Like as well in terms of race, class, gender, there yeah. are many aspects that are going beyond only collaborating, but it's rather how we understand architecture, how we design, mm -hmm. to critically question what we do as architects. Mm -hmm. If you think about an archive, which is like the vessel to define what is worth to be remembered, what we put in there has to change, like other forms and other artifacts have to emerge because it just enriches the form of knowledge production. If it's not just like, okay, this is architecture, this not, maybe it doesn't have to be so defined. Maybe everything can be part of it somehow. In the morning we had a dance session with the dean and with teachers and professors and, and students and it was really powerful. At some point the security came because they were like, no, you're not allowed to dance in this building. But it was still a very nice bonding moment. You know. The parity group is not one person, but it's a network of forces working yes. for one common goal. Yeah. There are so many people here, there are so many helping hands. I mean, that we are able to be here in this together and having this conversation and sharing so many workshops where people collaborate. I'm very proud that we're starting to really contaminate, you know, kind of bursting out of our bubbles and to see that so many things happened inside design studios, in the presence of professors who would actually uh, otherwise not engage. I think this is, this is kind of huge. The final discussion was very intense also because we started to talk with students about the future in general and what we are actually doing as architects. And it was quite powerful because I think from also these critical moments you can move on and discover the next step. When I started studying, the school was quite different than now. 
and I can imagine that it's also due to the parity group that things were brought up. Things are changing, the world is more complex. We need to redefine what has to have space. So I think it's very useful to actually ask the community or the students what also they think is important to learn.